Let's start with setting up everything we need to work with DuckDB and MotherDuck. First, we'll get DuckDB running locally so you can use it right on your machine. Then we'll install DuckDB UI and I'll give you a quick tour so you know your way around. And here's a small spoiler, since version 1.2.1, the UI is already bundled with DuckDB. So there's not actually much to install. After that, we'll move over to Mother Duck. I'll show you how to create an account, generate a token and configure that token locally using environment variables. We'll test the connection to make sure everything is set up correctly. And finally, I'll show you how to use the Mother Duck UI from inside DuckDB UI. So you can switch seamlessly between your local DuckDB and the cloud environment. By the end of this lesson, you'll have both DuckDB and Mother Duck ready to go, and you'll be comfortable working in both environments. Before we start with the hands-on parts, I want to show you the GitHub repo that I created for you. I created for you a GitHub repo where all the SQL scripts are in there for each of the lesson and where you're also going to find the Python scripts that we're later going to use. I also added here the, the small elevator requests data that you need for our local parts. So clone this repo, get this onto your computer and then we can start with the installation. I add a link for the repo to this lesson. Let's start with setting up DuckDB and then Mother Duck. So first go to DuckDB.org and then you can here go documentation, installation, and this will show you all the options that you need. So first we want to install command line, right? And then you can choose, okay, do I want to install Windows, which is just a simple download, or on Linux and on Mac OS, you can just do a curl command and then it will get you DuckDB downloaded. So for me, let's go here, Windows, let's click, and then this will download us the file, and then copy it into a folder where you want it. I have a folder here on my C drive opt DuckDB, and I'm just going to put this in there. Done. Now you could say, okay, I just want to execute this, just double click on DuckDB, and it will open up a terminal where you're already in DuckDB. But let's make it so that you can execute this from anywhere within your PowerShell. Now to make it so you can use DuckDB anywhere in the console or in the PowerShell, you need to go to system properties, then environment variables, and then look for the path variable. And here you then add the path where you put in the DuckDB exe file. For me, it's copt DuckDB. And then bring up a new PowerShell and you need to use a new one. Boom. And then you can just add your DuckDB and you are in DuckDB. So with that, DuckDB is set. Now for the Mother Duck installation, go to motherduck.com and then you sign up here. I already signed, signed up, so I can just click log in here. And then when you're logged in, use the left drop down and go to settings. And in the settings, what you're going to do is with integrations, you're going to use access tokens. And then you're going to create yourself a new token and just call this um, CLI token. Okay, this is a read write token. We don't need to ex make it expire. So we are creating the token. Now this, copy this out, take a copy and just create yourself a notepad and just copy this in for you so that you have it then later because you will never see this again. Okay, close this, done. That's all you need to do on the Mother Duck side so that you can connect. Now, the next part is, of course, how do you then access it from DuckDB? I highly recommend setting a environment variable. So let's do that. The quickest way to do this I have for you in the GitHub. It's basically this format here. Set X Mother Duck token and then here put your token in here. Bring up a PowerShell and then add the token with setX mother duck token and then add here your token that you just copied out, right? Then just store it. So you do that. That's it. It's saved. And then all you need to do to test this is to go mother duck or duckdb, I mean, duckdb, and then md and a column. This will then open up duckdb and 
do a show databases here. And this will then show you, for instance, the sample data database. So when you go back in Mother Duck, you are seeing here, that's our sample data database, right? And that is everything. With that, we are set to go. I'm going to explain you more about attaching to Mother Duck and so on later. Now, let's move on.